Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create, edit, and delete your YouTube playlist. I'm going to show you how to do it from your phone, and then I'm going to show you how you can do it from your computer. Playlists will increase your channel's watch time. People like to look at things in bunches, so if you got a part one or something, they'll more than likely try to look for part two and then part three. And the videos in playlists, they will automatically play one after another. So if you haven't created a playlist for a series you're working on, you should do that. And if you don't have a series that you're working on, you should find some similar videos that you have out right now and make a playlist for that. There's some settings that you can only do on your computer, in which case you can't do from your phone. So for people that want to watch one or just watch the other, I suggest you watch the entire video so you can be more proficient in both situations. So let's go ahead and get started. There are two ways you can start a playlist on your YouTube app. The first way is by going to any person's video. At the bottom right, you can see that there's three dots that will open up a menu when you click on it. And you can see that the second option is to save to a playlist. Once you click on that, you can see that you can add a new playlist on the top right, or you can just add to an existing playlist that you already have. The second way is if you go to library at the bottom right, you can see at the bottom, you can do the same thing. You can add to a new playlist or you can look at one of your old playlists that you already have up. So I'm going to start a new playlist from here. Once you start a new playlist, you can see recently watched videos and they'll ask you if you want to add any of those. I'm going to just check on two and click next. From here, it takes me to a title which I'm going to label as test and the privacy, which is right now private, but you can change it to unlisted and you can change it to public. I'm going to change it to public and press create. And you can see at the bottom, it has my new playlist right there at the top. Clicking on test. You can see I have my two videos that are up. I have three things I can do right above my videos. One is a shuffle. The next one is share and the pencil is edit. So if I want to edit anything, I could go to that. And then you see, I can edit my title from here. I can add a description from here and I can also change the privacy once again, but I also have collaborate right under it. Pressing on that, it says collaborators can add videos, which means that you can get other people to add videos to the playlist. So if I turn that on, you can see that it says invite collaborators by sending them this link and I have a link to let them share. I can also deactivate the link to prevent new people from adding videos into the playlist. But instead of doing that, I'm going to turn this off. It says playlists will no longer receive contributions and all contributors will be removed, which is okay. And I'm gonna go back. Back on the test playlist, you can see where the videos are. On the right, you have another menu, click on that. It says save the watch later, save to a different playlist. You can remove it from the playlist and you can share that individual video. At the top right, you see another menu, which I click on that. You can delete your playlist from here and I'm going to delete my playlist. Now that we got finished with the phone, let's go ahead and start with the computer. There was two ways you could do it from your phone and there's four ways you could do it from your computer. And I'm going to show you all four ways. The first way you could create a playlist is by going on to someone's video. Right under their title, you can see add to. Clicking on that will pop up all of your created playlists. And you can also see that you can create a new playlist at the bottom. The second way you can create a new playlist is when you upload a video. So when I upload this video and I scroll down, I can see playlist. And you can see here, I got the exact same options to add to a new playlist or add to an existing playlist. The third option is going on YouTube Studio in the videos tab. To the left of your videos, you got a box. Once you check one, you'll see a menu pop up and you can see that one of the options is add to a playlist. In which case, give you the same options as before. And the last way you can create a playlist is right under the videos tab. You have the playlist tab. In the playlist tab on the top right, you can see new playlist. After clicking on that, I can make a new title and press create. After doing so, it's taken me to the playlist page where I can edit my playlist. I can change the title, add a description, change the viewing settings, 
I can share this playlist or I can go into these three dots to open up a new menu. And from here, I can add videos. I can collaborate with other people on this playlist, go to playlist settings, or I can delete the playlist. From here, I wanna go ahead and add some new videos. From here, I can add videos by a video search. I could put in a URL or I can go to my own videos. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add three videos and then I'm gonna press add videos. And you can see that when it refreshes, the videos pop up. Over to the left of my videos, you can see two lines. If I left click on them and drag up or down, I can change the order of my videos. Over to the right, I have more options. I can add to queue, save to watch later, save to a playlist. I can remove this video from the playlist. I can move this video up to the top, move it to the bottom, or I can set this video to the playlist thumbnail. By default, the video at the top will be the playlist thumbnail. Anytime you add a new video to your playlist, it'll automatically show up at the bottom of the playlist, but you can change that in the playlist settings. But I'm gonna give you an example right now. So going back into the options and add a video, I'm gonna add a fourth video. And you can see that after pressing done, it shows up at the bottom. So let's check out the other things in the options. Going to add two means I can add this playlist into a different playlist or create an entirely new playlist. Going to collaborate, it does the same thing that we saw on the phone, so I won't go into that now. But let's go into playlist settings. In playlist settings, I can allow embedding and I can add new videos to show up at the top of the playlist instead of the bottom. Let's go into advanced settings. Over in basic, we can see some of the same features that we saw before, but we have a few different ones like ordering. We can have it done manually or we can have it done by the date added, the most popular or the date published. We can also see a box beside set as official series for this playlist. In auto add, we can create new rules to set for this playlist. So let's click on new rule. There's three different rules we could put in. We have title contains, we have description contains, and we have tag. We can use just one or a combination of all three. I'm gonna add a new rule into this playlist. And I'm gonna use title contains Google. And I'm gonna click save. It says you have created auto add rules for this playlist. Would you like to add existing recent uploads matching these rules? And it is found I have six videos with the word Google in the title. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click done. And you can see that it redirects me back into my playlist page with the added videos. When you go into playlist settings, you'll be redirected from Creator Studio to Studio Classic, but you still have the same options as Creator Studio. Did this video help you out? Let me know in the comment section. Do you got a question? Let me know that in the comment section. I made a new playlist called the YouTube Help Desk. What it does is that it gives tips on helping your YouTube channel like this video here. So if that interests you, check it out. Hopefully this video was useful to you. And if it was, why don't you like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out for me because I make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.